What is going on today, fellow YouTubers? Uh, I hope I've been getting enough videos out there. Keep people interested and remember who the heck I am. I just think about that sometimes. Um, today, I got my big mower back that I've been waiting on that I've been talking about forever. There she is, got her lifted up off the ground, gonna sharpen the blades. I've already mowed the yard with it and she did fantastic. The blades are actually pretty good condition. But um, I'm going to take advantage of having some time today and uh, knock those out. Also going to grease any fittings that I can find, things like that. Um, now this is a 2006 uh, Turf Tiger. And it's got about 1,400 hours on it. It's got a little experience, so you need to stay on top of your things more than ever. It just came back from getting a wheel pump done. That cost me $806. Um, you got to do it. I mean, next time, knowing what I know now, will I do it myself? Most likely. Um, save me a little bit of money, probably half that. But sometimes you don't have the time. Maybe I won't have the time next time. But this time, what we're doing, uh, I got it hung up here. Um, and we're going to get under here and clean clean out the little bit that's in there uh, from having this you can probably see that that is bent down that is not supposed to be like that so we'll probably try to bend that back up you can see how the other one is flush and then that one's bent down get the rope that's out ropes that are out from underneath there that'll make them spin a little easier I'm sure um, there's some dents and dings under there but one thing I really wanted to show you guys was back in here. I don't know if you can see it. That spring's not very tight. If I can move everything like that just from pulling on that, you see. But see that you see that tensioner pulley back there moving? Okay. Now, does that not look cockeyed to you? See how it's slanting away right there? Well, we're going to fix that. We're going to fix that by tightening uh, this bolt here that drops down under the, the deck. And um, other than that, I did have some aftermarket tires on it that uh, have almost like no clearance. I can't even get my finger, like right there, I can't even get a, my finger underneath there. It's ridiculous. Um, but hey, cheaper than buying the actual Skag tires that will run me. $250 a pop. I bought both of these together for $200. Do I have to take fenders off or bend them out? Maybe, but that's a price I am more than happy to take. I've already got $1,200 sitting in this mower and I've only gotten to use it uh, two and a half times. So that's that's just the mower. That's the amount of fixing I've done on it, $1,200 worth. So let's hope that it lasts a little bit after this because I really do need it to. And just wore out, man. Need a break. Need to be making some money rather than fixing an upkeep. You guys know what I'm talking about. So that's what we're going to play with. 